What's up, everybody? Um, so, Game of Thrones last night, excellent, correct? It was. Um, so you should probably watch it if you haven't watched it already, because you're just you're behind. Um, so before I get started, I'd like to make a shout out to Forty Feet Tall, a band that a lot of my friends are in that kicks ass, um, and they just released their first album, and I'm going to link their uh, Facebook page in the description of this video so you should all check them out listen to their music you'll love them i promise um and yeah and if you don't even love their music you'll just like looking at cole because he has long hair and he's a hipster and either way okay so today i am getting ready to go to detroit on wednesday so i'm sitting around packing and watching family guy but i thought i would come out and talk about swim baits because i just got a couple of new swim baits and um, I thought I'd show them to you. So without further ado, here's the newest swim bait I bought. This is the Rago uh, SKT swimmer. This is the nine inch and like, really guys? Ignore that noise. That's the construction workers that never stop. Rago SKT nine inch dark trout top hook. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's really soft plastic. Um, and it swims great, it looks great, but the only problem is it weighs almost seven ounces, and that's really heavy. But um, other than that, it's a sweet bait. So this is definitely going to be sticking to my arsenal. Um, what else we have? I just got the S Waver 200. This is in a color called, I think it's called the Warden. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But this thing's pretty sweet. I had a good follower at Pyramid the other day with this. Um, and so yeah, so this thing's pretty awesome. It casts really well. It's affordable. It's, if you want to get into glide baits, I definitely say pick a couple of these up and start chucking them. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to run it with a split ring on the, the tie or not. I'll probably experiment with that, but I mean it's got it comes with stock sharp hooks, swims great out of the package, the paint's awesome, durable. Nice good bait. Um, we've got the Savage line through 3d trout this thing's pretty awesome this is the floater i believe yeah this is the floater um and this is in light trout and the way it works is since it's a line through for those who don't know, don't know what that means is this hook it should come out of here come on now baby okay well if i had more time to screw with it i would make the hook come out but you feed the line in through the tube in the nose of the, the bait and it comes up and then you tie it off to this hook. And what that does is when you catch a fish, there it is, the hook will break away from the bait and the bait will come up your line and then you will only have this in the fish so then they have no leverage on you. And it's also nice because it's basically bush brown rigged but without having to do with wire and stuff like that. You know, it's just straight up out of the box ready to go. So these things are awesome, and these are everywhere lately. Like even at Bass Pro Shops, I see these, and they swim awesome. They're like 50, 20 bucks or something. Buy these. Um, next, there's always the old fallback, the Lunker Punker. You really can't go wrong with a Lunker Punker. You should always have one in the boat, especially when there's trout being stocked and stuff, and the fish are active. This is a Striper Murderer, and the largemouth love it too. It's a topwater bait. It's just big, walking, gliding, awesome bait. Cast literally a mile. If you had a long enough rod, you would cast this a mile, no problem. Um, one of the first swim baits I ever bought, this in a Huddleston, and it kicks ass. Other than a little bit of hook wear on it. But, you know, that happens. Um, next, I guess I'll show... Here's a tiny bait I just got. This is an MC swim baits. I don't even know what they call it, but you rig it with a beast hook, an owner beast. This is, I think is a seven or an eight aught. And these things, they have such a big tail, they thump really hard. I was throwing these at the Delta and I didn't have enough time to actually really get into them, but this is a killer bait I'll be playing with a lot this summer. Maybe even a rig a couple of these. Um, there's always room for this especially the floater version which this is not this is the slow sink but this is the spro bbz one eight inch 
Um, the only modifications I've done to this are I've popped all the fins off. So it kind of swims a little more like a triple trout. It kind of rolls because normally it just stays pretty straight, but this rolls a little more now. But um, I mean, even without that a modification, it works great. Um, they're really loud. They got rattles inside the chamber and tr inside the tail um, and they clack together. So this really is a good drawing bait. I love a lot of guys even, um, they'll take the floater and just long line troll it for stripers, like real slow, and it kills. That's a Bill Simantel. Special. But anyway, these are good baits. Um, then, there's the high class bait here. Come on out of here. This is my um, Columbia Custom Tackle swim bait box. If you can see that, it hangs them all. It's a fun box. This is the depths. Uh, slide Swimmer 250 that I had custom painted by Piz Customs. Check out Piz Customs too, they're awesome. But this thing is a killer. This is, after I got it painted, this is a $145 bait. And they're usually, that's cheap. I usually get them new for like 170. But this thing, talk about glide baits. This is the, the, the coolest bait out there. And it's got, I have really beefy hooks on it. I might take them off, I'm not sure. That one's got my blood on it, I can see that. So does that one. Um, but yeah, it weighs, I believe it's six ounces. It's a nine or 10 inch bait, I can't remember. Um, made in Japan. I actually got this one from Japan on eBay. Uh, and it is a cool bait. I definitely check that out. And no real wind noise. God, today's not a good day. Anyway, Slide Swimmer. If you're really getting into glide baits, you have to have at least one of these, if not more. Most people I know have multiple Slide Swimmers in different colors. Um, and then last but not least, the old fallback. Something I always have in the boat, at least one of, usually about three of, if I can get it out of here. The eight inch Huddleston Deluxe. What can you say about Huddleston? Um, this is the one I caught my uh, nine and a half pound largemouth on, my biggest fish so far. Ow, stabbed in the finger, there we go. Nine and a half pounds on just a random day. This is Butch Brown rig, so instead of, I cut the top hook off. Actually, this is a five, so it didn't, it never had a top hook. So you just crimp and wire a treble hook to the line tie, and then to break one off and bend it, and it rides up in the back up here, somehow. Like that, basically. This is, um, the holdover color, which I actually like more than stock rainbow. Um, you know, it varies on person to person, but the Huddle Cindelux, I think it's, they, at least the website says, it's got more fish over 10 pounds than any other bait in the world. And that's awesome. This is a, a rate of fall five, so it falls one foot every five seconds. I think that's what it is. And this is a floater, so it rides on top and makes a wake. That's why I've got a bottom hook on it. Um, pretty much the best bait to learn how to swim bait fish on. Uh, it's an awesome bottom dragging bait because it's got a top hook and you can just kind of grind it. Um, most realistic, one of the most realistic baits I've ever seen. Like if I'm throwing this from shore or even from the boat, I'm not paying attention and I bring it back, I think it's a fish swimming towards the boat until I realize I'm connected to it. So definitely if you buy a swim bait rod, get at least one of these with it and just start chucking it. You can chuck this thing for a mile, you can skip it, you can throw it anywhere. They're cheap, they're like 35 bucks. Definitely get Huddleston's. Um, and that pretty much covers everything I've got swim bait wise right now. It's not a lot, but it's more than enough to screw around with. And more hooks than I can handle. Um, so yeah, check them out, you know. A lot of people are scared to fish swim baits because they think you know, it's it's really a money sport and it's hard to do and you'll never catch a fish on it. And it is difficult and you have to dedicate a lot of time to figure out how to do it. And some days you might only get one bite, some days you might get no bites. But when you do, it's gonna be a bigger fish than anything else you're gonna be catching. Um, and it's a lot of fun to learn how to do it. <clears throat> and you, it's fun to just chuck a big bait too. So if you're interested, check out these baits and uh, give it a try. I